ain't trying to be cold. You're too comfortable for a Jets podcast right now. <laughs> what are you talking about? We're just talking about draft picks at this point. <laughs> <laughs> All guests, no break. Welcome to the show. We have Chris, Justin, and Mo, and a very special recurring guest. We have uh, Will Parkinson of Turn On The Jets joining us for, I believe it's the third time Will's making his appearance on the show. So uh, welcome back. You are now, uh, I think you are tied with DJ for most appearances on the show. Yeah, there we go. I'll, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to breaking that. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a neck and neck race, but uh, how you doing? Good Will? streak. Thank you. For, yeah, uh, no, nah, listen, man, it's been a, uh, it's been a, it's been a weird season. It's been, yeah, it's been tough at points, been exciting at other points. Um, I think only really the last, I don't know, since probably the, I guess probably the, maybe that Dolphins Black Friday game. It's been like. It was a pretty fun season regardless of, you know, just we kind of felt like last year, right? There's a lot of the same stuff of like complaining about Zach or your pro Zach and really good defense, fun young players. <laughs> Is Robert Sala good? Is Joe Douglas good? It's kind of like it basically just feels like we do the same thing over again. Um, so, yeah, I, until the last couple of weeks, it's been a fun year, even if with some of the losses and things like that. But the last couple of weeks, uh, the Texans game was a good final, like, fun game and then the Dolphins game happened and it's like okay it's over uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, time, yeah, to, time was, to book my place yeah. yeah it was kind of a uh, repeat of yeah it was kind of a repeat of last year like when it was all said and done um and kind of kind of wild that after all this they might even finish with the same record as last year because definitely if they're yeah. lucky if they're lucky they'll get to seven wins this time <laughs> if they're uh... it was funny it was funny if, they're lucky, said, they if, won't. if, if you were if you were pro zach i was gonna say damn i need that shit right now yeah <laughs> i am not i am not pro zach i uh I'm, look, I'm, Prozac, that's a medicine shit. I'm not, yeah. I'm not yeah. Prozac, but I'm pro, I'm I'm pro, pro Prozac for people who need it. Yeah, look, the problem, with, the problem with the Zach discourse is it's like, I'm not sure we've ever seen, this is probably a dramatic statement, but like, have we ever seen a player do less and get have people defend him more? Like, I, he, he's truly probably yeah. one of the five worst quarterbacks with 30 or 40 plus starts ever, right? Yeah. Like, statistically, it, and like the Jets never won with like at least San, like Sanchez was not he had some moments, but he was like the reason he's liked favorably is because we ignore a lot of the bad stuff and we were like they were he was really good in the playoffs and they mm -hmm. won with him, so you don't complain, right? Where like and Chad, they they won with him some, but you know, didn't win quite as much, obviously, with him, but he was obviously much better than than Sanchez. It's just like Zach's not been he's been far worse numbers wise than Sam was, but the Jets like I don't know. I feel like if Zach was even half decent, they would have been in the playoffs the last two years. Um, I, it's just it's frustrating. I just – you can't say anything about him, and it's like – I don't know. I posted, like, a tweet before. It was like, share, like, your the Jets' 10-year of Zach and, like, one, like, GIF or JIF, however you pronounce it. And, like, half of mm them -hmm. were like, the Jets failed him. And I'm like, I don't know, man. Like, they gave, they gave him it's, way more talent than anybody else they've given the last 10 like, years. It, it's so hard because, like, okay, he'll have this, like, great game. And then, like, he's just so inconsistent. It's, like, it's bad where it's, like, who is this guy? You'll see him play, and then where's where's he been all season? But, like, I feel like Sam had more yeah. flashes than, than Zach. Like, Zach, I mean, Zach has these throws or these, like, drives. Sam used to have yeah. these quarters yeah. or halves where – I don't know. I just like I'm happy it's over. Uh, I gotta be like I just I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it. People can argue about Rogers and Jimmy Kimmel. I don't and know all if that it's stuff. Over. I don't no, know I think it's over. it's over. I think Zach. I don't know. I think I'm not saying that he. I don't think. I think he did have a concussion or some type of head injury, something. But like, I also think it was a good out for the Jets of like, and for him to be like, I'm good. Like, shut it down. The Texans game will be the last game. <laughs> people think about maybe for draft for trade status and things like that like let's just let's move on the season's over um yeah i mean otherwise yeah, like yeah, brent yeah, rippin's yeah, better than trevor cool. simeon so i don't know why like if they really wanted to win trevor simeon would not be playing games right now yeah so you think maybe yeah. it was like a mutual, a mutual... I, I mean i don't even know if it was mutual i mean maybe it also that could have been like yo i'm good like <laughs> 
You know, like that report wasn't. Yeah. I know when people like to yeah. get mad at reports that they don't agree with. That's just the way we people a, a react in 2023 and, or 2024 right. I mean, now. Diana Rossini yeah. and Zach Rosenbutt are both like very well respected, and the athletics like a very well respected. Yeah, they, they, just, they didn't make that. They didn't make it up. It might have been out of context or however you want to say it. it wasn't made yeah. up. And I think Zach played well against Houston. And then the first sign of any any type of injury, it was just, again, I'm not saying he didn't have a concussion. That said, it was a wrist injury. Then it was dehydration. Then it was a head injury, no concussion. Then it was a concussion. It was very weird. And then yeah, the reporting around that. And then very- it's, dude, it's only Wednesday and he already got ruled out for Sunday. Like that's, that's pretty sketchy. <laughs> if yeah. For, yeah to, to be ruled out this early in the week when you didn't even like two weeks ago, we didn't even know what his injury was really. It was like, there's just yeah. a lot of weird stuff. I just think yeah. it's it's better. It's it's over for yeah, And I mean, the whole thing, you know, I mean, like the Jets, I, I've always said, the Jets protect this man everywhere but the field. Like, because, you know, even after, oh, yeah. that, even after that report came out, like, you know, they were like, you know, Salah was like, you know, Salah was up there defending him. Like, he like delayed his press conference that day by I think like 45 minutes or something like that. And then he's like, oh, you know, if he said anything like that to me, he wouldn't be here. Um, but you know, I'm sure he didn't say that directly to Salah, but you know, I'm sure he did probably say something like, you know, around the water cooler or something to someone, and yeah. maybe just be like, "Hey, I have some reservations about this," and you know, they probably. I just really it's hard for me to be like, I'm just not siding with anybody that's like needs to prove something, and it's like, "Yo, I'm good." Like yeah. I, I don't know. I'm yeah. I, 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 I think. I think honestly, a lot of the fact that he, uh, a lot of the reason that he's still around is the JetBlue shit. I'm sure Woody's getting a good deal with JetBlue. They're number one sponsor of the Jets, right? They're on everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm now sure that has a lot to do with it. I'm just saying. Now there's now there's like reports from I guess like the Colin Coward show saying that he uh, like. That Joe Douglas was like overruled, and then uh, then they were saying, "Oh, we uh, then like I think Jet Nation reported on it, but then like they got they like assumed they were talking about 2021, but then they said they were really the Albright said he was really talking about 2022. Uh, so <laughs> that they mean, wanted to take alignment. Yeah, but like like so yeah, so like people assume that that meant like taking alignment over Zach, but apparently it was uh, according to Albright, it was more so. Uh, that they were gonna take like Icky over. Salsa. They liked Icky a lot. I know that for a fact. I think yeah. that's I. I don't. The reason I didn't like. I know they love Stingley also. Like they love Sauce. Don't get me wrong. I think like yeah. Uh, it's just funny, right? Like I'm not saying Salah's a good coach. Like I'm not. Like as a head coach, we don't really know. But mm-hmm. he's a pretty good evaluator of talent on the defensive side of the football. Um, oh yeah, hundred percent. Like. You can't tell me that he was in that room fighting tooth and nail for for sauce and like the pick worked. Like I know they wanted Icky, or that like, Icky was at least a name that was very high on their board. But Icky's been horrible this year, so um, <laughs> he's been Beckton yeah. level bad. And uh, yeah. it'd be that's true. You know, I whatever they need Lyman, but I'm glad that they. Uh, I'm glad they took sauce. Sorry, but yeah. I am. You think, no, you think that Broderick, I, that Broderick I, Jones trade uh, or the Patriots trade with the Steelers? Yeah, I don't, see, like, this is the thing with that one where, like, I have a hard time believing they weren't going to take Broderick Jones. Uh, I, yeah. I just, like. Yeah, I don't care what. I think they, they were. Yeah, I just, yeah. I don't. Maybe they would have taken Will McDonald's. Sure, it sure seemed like they were trying to trade back that entire pick. Um, yeah, because they were on the clock. They, like, the they're, they're, he, he even said it like his top three picks were like Michael Mayer, Broderick Jones, and then uh, Will McDonald. Right. Michael Mayer went in the second round. So that yeah. was a crazy, you know, it's like I like Michael Mayer a lot, but I that would have yeah. been a weird. Uh, that would have been a weird. The whole thing was up. weird. I Just say you wanted Jones, you pivoted, no one wanted to trade back. And you can't say right. that, obviously, but that's. that's yeah. Pretty much what happened. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. pretty. It was pretty obvious in real time. I thought that that was like what was going on. Um, but yeah, I mean that kind of I guess segues into uh, you know the, how the fuck do we fix this offensive line? And uh, I think I was in a. I think I popped into a space that you were uh, like uh, guest uh, 
guest co-hosting in or something. And I think you mentioned something that I found interesting. I think you said that, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you said that like the best solution for the Jets O-line next year would be to have AVT at tackle. I so did say that. That's interesting because uh, he, I like you know, it. a lot of us here, well, I know that me and Mario <laughs> think Well, we, we've pointed out like two years in a row where he has played tackle. He gets, he gets injured. injured. It's yeah. just so weird. Like, I don't wish it was a but different it, it, injury. In the like, same place. A free, yeah, it's a freak injury in the same <laughs> place. Like, who tears their triceps that's not a bodybuilder? <laughs> like, that's such a weird injury. But see, then, that, that to me already says, like, it's not like something that can that makes you considered injury prone. It's just like, oh, you just had bad luck. See, like, Makai Becton's see. injury prone to me. Like, he's yeah. a, he was a yes. classic injury prone I guy. Um, I like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of another good example, but like, certain guys are just like injury prone where there just it seems to be always left and right. They're always getting injured. Wes mm-hmm. Schweitzer is a great example. Like, he's just always injured. Like, he's not great, but like, he'd be starting the NFL if he was ever remotely healthy. He's never healthy. Right. So, um, yeah, I don't, the reason I said AVT a tackle is I think it's a lot easier to find in this offseason a tackle and a guard than two tackles. I I know people hate Lincoln and like I get it, but I really yeah. would be shocked if he's not here next year. You can save basically the same amount of money with restructuring him that you can with just cutting him. Um, you know, no one's trading for that salary. You can ask him to take a pay cut. I'm not sure that like that's the craziest situation. I think there's a world in which you can give him more guaranteed money and kind of what they did with Lawson. Um, he plays every week and with better players next to him, I feel like they will be, they'll, they'll be a fine offensive line. If Lake Thomas is your worst offensive lineman, like there's worse things. He can't be yeah, your best yeah. offensive lineman, which is, uh, you know, which is, which is where they've That's gone the situation to. Kind of is. Yeah. Right. So yeah. I, I do think like if you went tackle in round one or some form of tackle and, I don't know. You get, you get your franchise tackle uh, for next year through trade, free agency, draft, whatever it may be. Link into your left guard. I am no problem having Tittman be the center. Like that's fine. Yeah, Tittman's only, definitely yeah. Be the center. Yeah. But he was very good at right guard. And my only thing is like, if you think you can find a center easier <laughs> than a guard, do you let Tittman be your right guard? ABT be your right tackle? I don't know. Like. That doesn't really matter. I think it's like you could find a center or guard in the third or fourth round. I think you can find one in free agency. I think replacing two offensive linemen, and they should be good enough with Rodgers being a much bigger boost, not playing with a behind 10 points early on in games. Um, <laughs> and just like having – Beckton's been horrible. Like he he genuinely has. Yeah. And um, Max Mitchell was dog water when he was in. Yeah. and. He was, you know, doing, Xavier was Newman. Doing Xavier Newman is who he is, and you know, you commend him for getting out there and and playing different positions and all these different things. Um, but yeah, I think if they only have to replace two guys, I think it's much more feasible, especially if people want them to go after that wide receiver one B um, yeah. and a backup quarterback. I just think. Plus, worst case, you draft three offensive linemen in the draft. You go round one, four, and five, and. You, Hopefully, two of the three hit right. Like that's, you know, when he signs yeah. somebody at guard, and I just they need to have numbers and talent because everyone it, gets hurt. That, see, yeah, they need and, and this is them. this is one thing. A lot of I feel like a lot of Jets fans think, oh, just because Joe Douglas hasn't hit on all these linemen that he's drafted, it makes him a bad GM. And you know how hard it is to hit on O linemen, like, and you'll see the Eagles. Obviously, they they have the best old line in the NFL. It, a lot of them are like ten year vets. They've been there for how long? And to have yeah, at least like two or two two to three established linemen, yeah, that's hard to come by. And as soon because this also ties in with coaching, so coaching is involved too. So I think like if you don't have like at least one or the other then you're you're gonna have a, a mess like even the ravens look at the ravens i couldn't name i could name maybe two of them morgan and moses. they have morgan moses and but, that, but that's him. still a strong line that's still a strong line it is but they i i saw them the last game they were rotating him in 
They didn't even <laughs> yeah, have like, they don't really have like they don't really have like a star on their line. They just have like a yeah. Lot you don't of need yeah, but yeah. That's the, that's the biggest misconception in football. You don't need a star in your offensive line. It's you great don't. if you're the it's great if you're the Cowboys and you have you know Tyron you Smith well and Zach Martin. Offensive but if you're well yeah, if you're is. well coached and you have guys that play every week, um, you'll be fine. I think the big that's the biggest thing you you see with the Jets. That the biggest issue is. Nobody plays consistently, right? Everyone's always hurt, so there's yeah. no chemistry at all. Yeah. The quarterback play sucks. And when that happens, when you're playing from behind, teams are just going to light you up. And yeah. And <laughs> listen, that, that I, again, it's not all, again, it's not all on Zach. I'm not saying it is. But that dude adju- changes plays at the line all the time <laughs> that are not the right play to change. And, <laughs> and it's not just him. It's been other guys that have played – but that's a huge thing, right? Like you got to put your quarterback puts you in, you know, slides protections the right way. Justin Fields, the one, the biggest reason Justin Fields still gives me pause is every week we see two or three times where there's just a free rusher and he has he doesn't see it and he gets absolutely obliterated. Nope. It's like, yeah. dude, you're in year three, year four here, like you got to start to see that. And, yeah, and they're, just, they're not well coached. The they're they're really not healthy on the offensive line. They're not well coached, and their quarterback plays bad. Like. Of course, everyone – look, the Chiefs game, the offensive line was great. Um, the Eagles game, the first half, they played really well. Like, you, you saw even the Bills game, I thought at times they gave Zach enough time. Like, we've seen them – the Houston game, like, they, we've seen them play well and give time, but it's not consistent, and that's why they're bottom three, four offensive line. They need to be, like, the 18th yeah. best offensive line, not, uh, you know, the, the 32nd. Yeah. <laughs> 18th, you can work with 18th. I mean, so yeah, but I, I feel like that's more coaching than injuries. That it is, at this it is, point. and and this brings me to my next question: Why do we still have Keith Carter there? Yeah, I that's that's one of those. Uh, listen, I I don't know, but I think that's the number one offseason move. Is like clean a few position coaches out at a minimum. Uh, I think that's yeah, that's yeah. Smart. Sure. a few. <laughs> Like, I, all right, like, I personally think that, like, I personally th- am leaning more towards, like, we were talking earlier how, like, you know, we kind of repeated last year, this year. But I feel like we kind of got, like, a little more concrete answers as far as, like, Salah. Like this year is worse. Well, I think with Joe Douglas, it's more like, all right, we're see- starting to see some of the marks against him more than we did before. Uh, but, like, I think it's, like, becoming pretty clear, like, I don't know, at least in my opinion, it's becoming pretty clear that Salah's probably not the guy. Like, I'd I don't say know. I, 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 feel like this, I feel like this season showed us – um, some games showed us our potential, like what, what Salah's offense and defense could do, yeah. like, if we had the right pieces. Yeah, but like they do have to at least – like they, they have to at least shake up the staff a little bit. They can't just like, – Oh, yeah back with the same they can't run it back with the entirely same staff uh, i i was kind of surprised for Salah to say when he did that you know they're not like ever since woody said they're not firing sala or douglas and ever since sala said that uh you know that they're not making any changes to the staff so uh, <laughs> all See, the that's that's foolish have, that's some foolish sort of, some sort of coaching disaster you know uh bundled yeah. up in them no no the coaching the coaching as a whole staff is not there and if if we keep the entire staff, no, it's no. not going to be there next season. So keeping Salah and Douglas is just saying, hey, we still trust your decisions. Just recognize, hey, make better, like like learn from your fucking mistakes. That's it. Yeah, learn from your fucking mistakes. Yeah, and that's probably like you know that's probably the biggest thing. You know, I think uh, I think on Badlands they did like a whole like, what would you ask Joe Douglas? And that like I think that was like. They were saying that was like the biggest thing they would ask is like, uh, is like, like, uh, you know, what have you learned from like the past you know, first Nothing. four? The Jets don't learn shit, whatever you know, four or five seasons, whatever, however you want. <laughs> the Jets are still repeating first grade right now. Come on, look, look, look. Do you, do you <laughs> think do you, does, does Salah does Sala look like? All right, we're just gonna wait for Aaron Rodgers next year, and like looks like they all just did that. Yeah, yeah. Or or he's or he's like, all right, I don't really have control of this team, and I can't run what I want to run. Um, I just think they did a lot of like Roger Saffold. Like again, he's washed. He's washed. He's washed, right? Like no doubt about it. Is he? 
Is he? Yeah, he was bad. He was bad. He was at least bad last year in Buffalo. I don't know. Maybe he he's better than Xavier Newman. I could tell you that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'd hope the so. The fact that he couldn't make an active roster and then ask for his release and instantly goes to a playoff team, and I guarantee you, he's gonna play. Yeah, it, he's gonna play at some point in the next couple weeks, and everyone's gonna go why in the Jets. It's more just like I don't know if it's stubbornness, if it's like they threw in the towel and said, "Hopefully we can make the playoffs. If not, who cares? We know we're back." Whatever it is, mm-hmm. like there's a million things, and you can spin it any way you want. Not yeah. addressing backup quarterback, and it was a lot of like, dude, Simeon basically Simeon only got activated because like they were totally forced to do it. Zach was playing bad. They don't trust Tim Boyle. Tim Boyle was on the Tim roster Boyle. to be like nah, he was like the worst quarterback in the league. Yeah, like I, I just yeah, boy, and, they, and they only signed Simeon to like shut the fans up. After. Yeah, they shut the fans up, yeah. and then they did the same thing with Saffold. And it was like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. all right, man, like I don't know. They, they did. did like the classic, they like to... they literally pissed on your face and told you it's raining. It's like, all right, man, like, <laughs> yeah. like come on, exactly. you're better, you're better than that. Well, yeah. yeah, that's been this. That's right. been this fucking. All, I feel like that's been the off season and this season. They're just telling us, oh yeah, no, no, no don't worry. They no, like the, well, the same thing. The Yankees, we did it. Now, what do you want? The same thing like the Yankees did last off season, where they were like, they signed like Rodon. They're like, we're not done yet, and they did nothing. Yeah. And it was like, <laughs> but you are done. Like just yeah. like, like it's and it's yeah. fine. Like it's if they would have said like, listen, like we can't tell you out loud, but like we're telling you, we're not going to sacrifice any future draft capital, and we're like, we hope we, you know, we hope we make the playoffs. But all of a sudden, we have our first round pick back. So like, hey, like if we lose, like not the worst thing. Like that might be the case, but like it still sucks when you're charging, you're raising ticket prices and charging fans, you know, yeah. having fans pay oh, in November gosh. for tickets oh, they weren't supposed gosh. to pay until March. Like again, people are still going to do it, and I saw a bunch of. I'm never going to games again. It's like, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, yes, you are. Yes, you are. It's the same people on my timeline every single day. Like I'm not watching this yeah. team anymore. It's like, dude, you'll be strapped. Yeah. You'll be strapped well, to your TV. Me, and I, I say that, and I know in the back of my mind, yeah. I'm still going to watch it. Yeah, you, yeah, you know you'll be like talked. Yeah, you know you'll be talk, talking yourself into a win. In a yeah, like I'm not going to root for them to lose because it could just. I'm not. I can't. Nah. Like you don't have to root for them to lose. They'll do it on their own. Like try. Like they'll, yeah. they'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like really. <laughs> yeah, <it's> long. <laughs> <laughs> really, all I'd be rooting for is just like, uh, you know, I mean, you know, with this whole, because I mean, I guess the whole, you know, obviously the whole dilemma is uh, the draft pick versus uh, sending Belichick potentially out of New England with a loss. I mean, Ooh. beating beating New England is not going to, uh, you know, beating New England on Sunday is not going to change the fact that Belichick largely owned us, you know, for, yeah, uh, you know, for the majority. Here's, the here's my question there. for you guys. Worst case – is this not the worst case scenario? Because this is what I think is going to end up happening, and I – everyone in <laughs> front of the Jets – everyone in front of the Jets is going to to still lose. So the Titans, Chargers, <laughs> yeah, Giants. So, we're fucked anyway. so they're going to pick an eight no matter what, and then they're going to lose <laughs> nine to six on Sunday, and we're going to go ah. – the streak's, the streak's alive. They didn't get a better draft pick, and now we're just sitting there pissed off at both – not getting a better <laughs> draft pick and, then, yeah. and and losing in shitty fashion. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's the I mean, one scenario that I I can't handle. Losing forty five to three, I'd rather that, not win. And and yeah. when you bring it up, it's gonna happen. Yeah, I mean, if yeah. we win nine six, then we'd be picking twelfth. But at least the streak. Yeah, but would at least the streak would be over, and you'd go, okay, there's yeah. five good receivers. But also, like Joe Douglas has traded, you know, not really traded down or up. He's kind of sat there. Dude, if he wants one of those receivers or tackles, like you could go trade up. If he they if they suck next year, he's getting fired anyway. So like bur- burn the twenty twenty five draft capital on fire. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I know it's not smart, but think about it. They're all gone if they don't win. So like if you really want yeah. Joe Wall or or mm-hmm. like go get them. Like at that point, like you can also move up the board. I know no one ever wants to talk about that, but like go move up. The Jets did it in 09 and 08. Like they yeah. wanted Sanchez, they went for it. And like who, like they knew they were lighting draft picks on fire three years down the line. They didn't really care because they won. Ooh. So, yeah. Let me ask you a question: Who do yeah. you like more, Olu or Joe Alt? Uh, I trust them to develop Joe Alt more, but Olu's better. Like I think he. The problem is, is like you're yeah. giving it's major. Like they need something. If they had the right offensive line coach, I would tell you like Fashano is sick. But like yeah. if you're asking me if they can, I can trust the guy who's not a finished product. 
I don't know. I'd rather Joe Alt's more like if Joe Alt becomes Jake Matthews, it's not mm-hmm. exciting, but he's your left tackle for 10 years and he's like the ninth best left tackle. Fashanu mm, might be Fashanu might be sick down the line. Or he might be yeah. sick next year. I just or he can they can, end up being like icky. or he could end up being icky and Beckton and like you're like, <laughs> damn, like <laughs> we missed again. Yeah. I mean, would you say uh, is there anything with with any of the with like Joe Alter Fashanu? Is there anything that you would say that jumps out to you that says suggests that they could be like a repeat of Icky or Beckton? Uh, not necessarily. I just think that like Alt's like a little bit more refined. Uh, I just feel like technique wise, but he plays a little higher, so like that gives me a little yeah. bit of pause. But like Titman plays pretty high, so like that. Joel six eight. Like you're oh, naturally yeah. gonna play mm-hmm. high. They're also yeah, tackles. Yeah. That also tackles, so that doesn't bother me. There's nothing that really gives me pause with either of them. I just um But what I, know, what just, I like about Alt yeah. is like he's he's like comparing to Becton, like yeah. obviously he's a lot leaner and he, he can move. Yeah. That's one thing. Alt can move really good. And he's good in pass pro. Which yeah. Becton was more dominant in the run game. Well, still he fine. Was, he's as not as good in the run game anymore, but he's still decent in the yeah. run game. The pa- yeah, pass, yeah. bro, he is just lost. Um, he's yeah. given yeah. up like what twelve sacks, sixteen penalties, or maybe it's the other way around. It's something insane. Yeah, yeah he leads the league in both of weight. Uh, fucking didn't help him. He leads the league in both penalties <laughs> <bust. laughs> and uh, yeah, <laughs> and sacks allowed. <laughs> That sucks, dude. I won. I really was hoping for Becton that he would be able to. Yeah, figure it out. I, oh, yes. God. I wish. Yeah. I wish. Yeah, yeah I mean, like, good in the off season. Why couldn't he just be good? Like, he, I thought he's gonna be right back there. Fucking uh, his his rookie rookie season. He's gonna come out and dominate again. Didn't matter that he uh, lost he, the weight. He, he, he was the definitely power. fucking his rookie season. For sure. Yeah, but it's like he lost weight, but I feel like he's like the injuries like look like they caught up a little bit where he doesn't move yeah. quite as well. And it, I don't know I feel bad he, for him, I think but he's, I feel I feel like he's scared. He's playing like he's scared. Yeah, I feel like probably doesn't trust the knees, you know, fully yeah. and stuff like that. I don't know. That's a it's just it's been a, it's been it's been disappointing. Um, you yeah, know, that's for sure. Very much so. Yeah. Very yeah, I mean, much so. it sucks too because it's like I don't know, like I, I know that Makai Becton's kind of a divisive topic amongst the fan base and Jets Twitter. And, like, regardless of how you feel about Becton, whether you like him or don't, like, it, you know, it just sucks that – it just sucks that he sucked and, you know, now you're in a situation where, you know, you potentially need two tackles. Depending. Move, him, move him to right guard – move him to left guard. Fuck it. Yeah. No, nah, I mean, if he could bend – if he could bend, yeah. sure, but I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, so those I mean, days. It can be days. worse than Lincoln Thomas. I can no. tell you that shit. Yeah. <laughs> So I think knows, it's knows. pretty obvious that uh, you know. Pre- I think it's pretty obvious that like the pick will probably be you know Alt or Fashanu if either of them are available when the Jets pick. Um, but if the Jets play themselves kind of out of range of those two, do you think at that point they're better off going wide receiver? Because uh, if, if, if they take JT Latham, uh, I'm no, going not. to. Be a very angry person on draft. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, did not, Dude. I did not like what I saw. He, he, plays, he, plays, he plays mostly right tackle, right? He's a right tackle who can't pass yeah. protect. So okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, good. I, was I, the game I think I, I think I'm good there. Watch the last play of the game. He gets. Yeah, no, I did. I did. Uh, <laughs> I watched the whole game. <laughs> yeah, that's, he. There's. Listen, I'm not saying he's a bad prospect, and he'll be the right player for somebody. Um, mm-hmm. If the Jets are going to go tackle, they got to draft somebody that can play left tackle. Um, at least I think so, yeah. and maybe he can. But a lot of the, the Bama guys, like I don't know, man, yeah. Evan Neal, Evan they're, Neal, they uh, look good. And I, I look never like, trust yeah. Bama. Never trust Bama. Nick Saban, it's Nick hard. Saban will make you the best. Like a lot of the Bama guys are good, but they're always beat up. That's what they always yeah. say. Like Quinton's yeah, lucky; he only really true. played one year at Bama. So like. I don't know. I no. They practice ones on ones during the week, full pads. Like that stuff adds up. Even even like Jedrick Wills isn't yep. looking that great now. Yeah, it's. I don't know. Damn. I just. Oh. Yeah. I, yeah, the Bama guys are kind of falling off. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm good on. I'm good on. James I like. I like. Me. I like the Notre get Notre Dame O linemen. Oh, they're yeah. they're always stout. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Do you see the? Uh, did you see the tweet that said, "I like my lineman, uh, hardcore Republicans and racist." I thought that was the funniest thing I've ever seen. 
It was, that was crazy. That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Twitter. Uh, those uh, those <laughs> linemen do tend to those linemen do tend to be the be best. Yeah. Yeah. So you're telling me Richie Incognito <laughs> wouldn't dominate right now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 What's he, he doing? Insane, right now? Which is crazy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He's that like in his forties. You know what? Now that you said that, <laughs> that yeah. <laughs> I'm about to go. Uh, I'm about to go tweet how Joe Douglas should be fired for not calling Richie Incognito. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, oh, I man. never, I never really looked into him and, until like, like recently when I saw him when he was playing with like the Dolphins. That dude, he was huge. He was like yeah, six five, three hundred. He made five straight Pro Bowls. I'm like, God damn. He made five yeah, straight Pro Bowls. He was, he was a monster. Yeah, he was. He was, yeah. he was really good. He was. He was a monster. And he played – yeah, John, no, uh, now I know why John Gruden picked him up when he went uh, – he got the head coaching job <laughs> for the Raiders again. <laughs> yeah, he's – A kid of my own. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hire John Gruden as the OC in a heartbeat. That dude, yeah, he, yeah, I, I take it. I take he, it. He, he, apparently the Raiders it. might bring him back. I don't know. Whatever. There's That's a whole other – Discussion, oh but. shit! Well, I'd take him. <laughs> yeah, oh, man, I, you can drop the end bomb. Just, <laughs> win, win, win some as games, as, man. As as scoring touchdowns, man. Win shit. some <laughs> games, man. That's all. Right. Right. That's we, we, scored like, we scored like eleven touchdowns this year. You know, you, you can put the rest. <laughs> throw the rest out the window. Yeah, in the first like terrible. first three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, get, get a system going. Get a system going. So how do you but honestly? I, I didn't think this offseason. I was hoping this offseason we wouldn't have to fucking address the line at all. No, well, yeah, so no, hypothetical, all, hypothetical. Say, say, say our O line actually primarily. did work out. If our O line did work out, who, who would we draft? If we, if we didn't have to like take an offensive lineman right now, yeah. If I mean, you think you go, re- you go receiver, yeah. If, <laughs> if, he, if they, <laughs> uh, no, I mean, if they were going offensive line, I think. Um, I mean, receiver makes a ton of sense. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a really strong class. Whether it's Malik Neighbors, um, Big yeah. Rome out, you know, in Washington's a stud. Obviously, he Marvin is. Harrison, they're going to be out of range for that. Um, but even the, yeah. the Keon Coleman's of the world, et cetera. There's a lot of there's a lot of dudes in this class. But um, yeah, I, I don't know. Rome makes a lot of sense, man. If especially I, if they're yes. especially I, I if they're in like 11, 12, if they win and they drop yeah. a little bit. Yeah, because they'll, they'll probably be out of the six three two twenty. He'll test well, um, super productive. Like he, he's a bigger bodied receiver, but he doesn't play like Lazard. Like he's just like a bigger, a bigger body. And then you compare, you know, Garrett's Garrett's six foot one eighty. Like he, he's yeah, he's awesome, but yeah. he's he's not. A, you don't need it. Like you like to be able to use Garrett everywhere, and not have to make him this primarily like only outside, only jump yeah. ball guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wish that's, I wish we had the option you to do want that. because, yeah. like, I I keep seeing the Malik Neighbors uh, pick. Malik Neighbors, and, and then Roma uh, Dunze is like right after. I'm like, I would rather take Roma Dunze. Like, he catches everything. Yep, late hands, a lot and, of late hands. Yeah, he's, it's like glue. Yeah, and, no, I, and, I, and, and, and and I know that we're not gonna. I know that we're not gonna do this. Uh, because we're we're gonna see this whole Aaron Rodgers thing through, but uh, anytime I watch yeah, Washington, man. man, I mean Roma Dunze definitely jumps out, but it's like every time I I watch Washington, I have a hard time like not thinking that you know basically every team should take Michael Penix. <laughs> Penix thing is gonna be tough, man. Yeah, if you're the uh, Jets fan, you hope that Penix goes in the top six. Um, somebody falls in love with him. Look, he's mm-hmm. got insane arm talent. He's mobile, um, super accurate. All those things are true. It's twenty four, gonna you know, gonna be twenty five years gonna old. He's, he's gonna be twenty four years old on opening day. Yeah. And not that I don't think the age thing even is actually really what matters. I, Joe Burrow. I, I don't think it matters either. It's no, like, I, but yeah. it's more the injury things. He's had a shoulder. Yeah, the injuries. You know, that's, yeah, the injuries are, are definitely valid concerns. Yeah, but at the same time, Burrow and Tua and these guys who were hurt a lot in college yeah. and uh, mm-hmm. or not, Burrow in the NFL. Still you still take yeah. them, right? Like, well, have, like kind yeah. of a counterpoint to the whole like you know when people like bring up like a player like Penix, who's you know, or Burrow when he was like twenty three coming out of the draft, or like the older quarterbacks and like people, 
you know, who don't, you know, really like that or see that as kind of a red flag. And, like, the way I see it, though, is, like, the Jets draft, like, these, like, baby face, like, 21-year-old quarterbacks who, like, <laughs> barely have, like, facial hair on their chin. And, like, you know, they're bringing, being brought in and, like, being asked to, like, be the savior of this franchise that's so, you know, that's so thirsty and desperate for – for good quarterback play, it works for some guys. It, it looks like, like for like a Lamar who's already proven and's taken, yeah, had taken a thousand snaps in college. I feel like, a, like I feel like yep. a quarterback that's a little older, like might be able to like step in that situation. Especially you play longer yeah. now, right? Yeah. And, and Lamar yeah. won the Heisman. Yeah, we yeah. got, got the actual week. <laughs> yeah, you play longer, but also I'm just saying, like in general, like people's people's careers last longer. So, um, being starting at 24 in the NFL. You know, 15, 20 years ago, you you want to take the guy who's twenty because their career is going to last eight years, nine years. Like you want to get every prime year out. Now guys are playing into their forties. Um, I think it's a little bit different, but again, like I get the age thing. I just don't think it matters as much at quarterback. Um, I think oh, a yeah. line linebacker, running back, like yeah, yes. you, want, you want the guy with the fresher legs, but um, I don't think that necessarily is the case at you know quarterback. Even even a line's kind of. I don't know. It's not the worst thing in the world. The guy's 23 and like a veteran already. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's, it's here's not bad. It's not bad. Here's a question as a, uh, as a, as a petty Jets fan, uh, <laughs> who would you be rooting for to win the division this, this week? Cause I mean, I, I hate, I definitely hate Miami more than I hate Buffalo. But I think I'm rooting for Miami. Cause Buffalo, if I only root for Miami, if it means Buffalo in. misses, if Buffalo yeah. misses, yeah, because then be if, both teams, yes. if, if Buffalo wins, then both teams are in. Yep. And I'd rather only see one of them. I also I, I also think that Miami could lose week. You know, if Miami's the two or three seed, do they get, you know, I don't know, do they get a crazy like Steelers team that gets in and you know that defense is pretty good? I don't know. I just it'd be interesting. <laughs> you know? the back. No, Brown Browns are the fifth seed, I think. Yeah, Browns are the five, I think, and it'll be Indy, right? Um, yeah, or yeah. Jacksonville, maybe. Yeah, I, I, I would love to see that. I don't think I don't think the Dolphins go deep, regardless if they make it. But yeah. I would hate to see the Bills there. So yeah. I'm, I'm definitely yeah, rooting the Bills for Miami. Are a team. The Bills definitely seem like a team where, like, if they do make it, they they would be pretty. They would be pretty dangerous to go on a run. Yeah. So definitely, and I want to see that fucking happen. I would like to avoid that. <laughs> fuck, all, fuck all these Bills fans. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a yeah, there's a lot of them out by me too, and you know they uh, they they're always on that we're the only New York team bullshit, and then oh yeah, yep. Well, never, never try to argue about geography. <laughs> they played a whole they played a home game against the Jets in the, the in Toronto. Toronto. In Toronto. Yeah. I don't want to hear. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Toronto Bills. Those are what they should be called. <laughs> yeah, it's like you can see, Me- you can see New York City. From <laughs> you can see the Canadian border from, uh, from Buffalo. <laughs> but yeah, definitely wish the Bills the absolute worst. Um, so, how do you how do you think they'll attack? Uh, how do you think they'll attack wide receiver in the off season? Do you think that's more of a more of a free agency trade thing or more of a draft? Thing? Um, I think Devontae would be Plan A. Um, I wow, think that'd be wonderful. Yes. I think depending on, I think Mike Evans should be me and that. Justin. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, just, I I think it depends on what Devontae costs, but I, I think he'll be playing. Yeah, I think it's yeah, like I there's too much smoke there. Um, if they don't get Devontae, wow. I think they'll pivot to an Evans if he makes it to the market. Yeah. Although I'm not sure he does. T Higgins, T Higgins, Pittman, like they're one of those guys will get free. I don't think. I, I think maybe one of the four. I think one of the four will move. I think the other guys will. Probably. Higgins would be Higgins. Higgins, be Higgins is the one guy I think that makes cheaper. the most sense. To, yeah, I think, yeah. 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 He's the one who, uh, I feel like one of these three are going to end up with the Chiefs regardless. <laughs> yeah, could be. Come on, the, the, the Chiefs are definitely going to take one of them. <laughs> Wherever they don't take, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. But if they don't, if the Jets can't go that route, you got to draft somebody. Um, mm-hmm. But it'd be nice to be able to bring, you know, Garrett Wilson, T. Higgins, Gibson, oh, cool. Gibson and then Lazard's your three, and all of a sudden you hope he has a better year with Rodgers, but he's really your fifth option. Like you feel better about it. Um, Make, you gotta make sure Higgins' hamstring is good. That's like I've seen three times this year with the hamstring stuff. But yeah. Um, yeah. generally speaking, I think they'll get a big name, whether it be through the draft or trade or free agency. Like they just they have to. Um, so yeah, and I think they'll I think they'll address a line of receiver and backup quarterback. Everything else is kind of a crapshoot. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, what what do you think? Like, uh, what do you think Devontae Adams would cost at this point? I think it probably is like a three in a future two or, or something of that nature. He's, I mean, he's awesome still, but he's you know he's thirty one and owed a bunch of money. Um, yeah. I don't so think there's no, there's no reason I, I'd give that up. I just don't know about the cap space. Yeah, they'll have cap space. They can restructure. They can get up to like 88 million without like really cutting many people. They just have like all okay. these guys, huge, huge like salary cap numbers right now for next year, but they're all, it's all cash. So like they can just convert it into a bonus. And like Q's number is 28 million, but it could be he'll count for 1 million, like in the pay him 27 million cash. As, like, oh. Yeah, it's like a, <laughs> I, it's like yeah, a, like kinda, instead of like Dalvin was getting game checks. Um, that's why, like, him getting cut saves them like 300 grand. Not that anyone cares, but yeah, um, yeah. that's why that kind of that's the way that kind of happened. Yeah, okay, I mean, obviously, yeah. obviously, we have to like invest, you know, the majority of our resources here in the offense. But that being said, you could still pay Bryce Huff, pay Bryce know, Huff, yeah, pay, no, defense pay. needs to get paid. Hey, my dude, hey, yeah, my guy. There's still yes. got there's still there's got to be a way you could pay him and also, you know, supplement the offense. No, easily too. Especially if you extend him, you can kind of structure the deal the way you want. So, um, yeah, there's not really an excuse not to pay Bryce at this point. For real. Um, well, Will, you before, think use Bryce before you the leave, and we definitely uh, we definitely appreciate your time. Of course. Um, I don't know how much time you have, but I think Justin does have some sort of trivia for us. If you wanted to, yeah. yeah. I'll hop, I'll, hop in, I'll hop in the trivia real quick. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Wonderful. 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 So the trivia is this this week is just a Hall of Fame edition. You have to guess the Hall of Famer based off of the year inducted their position. Okay. If you can't get off of that, I'll give you this. This is for the benefit of um of Mo because normally it's Mo versus Hacker. As long as I'm doing the trivia, it's Mo versus Hacker. And Hecker is a fucking god at this shit. So I'm, I'm benefiting this to Mo. He mo he knows more college ball. Right. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna give the college team first. Okay. And then I'll give the second hint as uh the NFL team that they okay. played for. Let's do it. All right. So do you all want to do right, what, what, have... so what, what's the what's the criteria here? What, what are we getting? Like the year? Are we getting anything like year that? Y'all y- 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 getting the year inducted. And the position. Okay. The year and then you can guess, guess, into yeah, the if Hall you can guess it off that, great. If not, I'll give the college team and then the NFL teams. All right. Okay. So year inducted into the Hall of Fame first. Yeah. Yes. And then the college team, then the NFL teams? That well, the, the year yeah, and the uh position. position. Then yes, college team and NFL teams. Okay. Okay. All right. I got I got 21. I don't know if you'll want to do this as <laughs> anyone can guess. Or it could be seven each, and then I can add another as a as a tiebreaker if we need one. All right, let's re- uh, whatever works for you guys. Yeah, yeah, uh, we can do. First time we're doing this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess you <laughs> fire them off. Whoever gets them, gets them. All right, I will fire them off. I will fire them off because th- there are some that are really difficult, but others easy. So let's the first it. one was first one was the twenty twenty three draft pick uh, D back. Throw it in Revis. Nope, nope. Uh, well, it's got a 2023 D back. A D back. You got that wasn't <laughs> Throw Revis. Nope. Um, um, oh, uh, Rondé Barber. Yeah. I was thinking yeah. myself, I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that one goes to Mo. I knew it was Next probably one. that was a trick question. It had to be. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, there was someone else. Said. It ain't Revis. <laughs> All right. Next one 2019 center. Ooh. Uh, Kevin Mawai. Yeah. You see, yeah, Hector's too goddamn Mawai. good at this shit. Damn. Damn. <laughs> oh, that, was, that was a gimme. That should have been a gimme. Players. <laughs> Next one, 07 wide receiver. Uh, ooh, 07. 07. Inducted in 07. Yep. All y'all know. Michael Irvin. Jerry Rice. Yeah. I knew Irvin. <laughs> I knew his 90s. I'm think, I was thinking who retired early 2000s. <laughs> I didn't think it would be, uh, yeah, I didn't think it would be Jerry Rice. I thought he from would be. Co- from, co- from cocaine. No, Rice was inducted earlier. 
No, he was earlier. Oh, so yeah. it was Michael Irvin. Yeah, yeah, it was Irvin. It was, it was Irvin. Irvin. Okay. Yep. This one is 2022 quarterback. Peyton Manning. Nope. Although he was inducted in 22. Uh, what was 22 last year? Was somebody 22. else? Two. Was... He's an older one. I'll give you that. that that's Alex, a no, fast. No. No. Hmm. Uh, no, it's not Drew Brees. He's... This one's a little harder. Mm-hmm. This one really got in the medium. Because if I give you all the other other shit, uh, it's a giveaway. No, so he was uh, he was he was a, a mid quarterback. What, co- what college? College, Miami. Uh, Vinny Tess, no. Inducted <laughs> <laughs> in twenty two. He's a quarterback, I, Miami. Miami. Hmm. Who the fuck I ducked it last year? Miami. Miami. As soon as I tell you the NFL teams, I guarantee someone gets it. I just don't <laughs> know who's going to be first. Hmm. Last year's class was ass, if I remember. Was it, yeah. it was, wasn't it Seymour yeah. and like Leroy Butler and a bunch of those dudes? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, no, 22 was bad. <laughs> uh, I, I honestly don't know. Yeah, I don't know. What, yeah, what All right, NFL that? teams, NFL teams. Well, right. I, I don't know if this was an NFL team, but uh, he started with the Houston Gamblers <laughs> that no. played for the Bills from 86 to 96. Jim Kelly? No. There it is. Oh, wow. That was Jim stupid. Kelly went to my. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. I forgot he went to my. <laughs> Gosh, terrible class. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It must be, you know, it really a bad, was a bad class. You're like, all right. Do we finally just put Jim Kelly in? Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, I was like, is he in already? We need some filler. Yeah, I figured he would have been in already. All right, this one, uh, this one's a very, I think, a very easy one, but I don't know. We'll see. 98, linebacker. Uh, It's easy when you get to the NFL, too. Lawrence Taylor. Nope. I think that's too late. Uh... 98. It's got to be a guy retired in like 93 if it's easy. Singletary. Yeah. yeah. Singletary. Ooh. That was good. Yeah. I was going to say it's got to be an 80s Bears guy. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. 81 to 92 Bears. I was thinking it had to be 80s. <laughs> this one is a difficult one. Actually, no, 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 no. I'll come back to this one. I'll oh, come back. To God, this. It's probably like Let's a kicker. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to 2011 running back. Emmett Smith. Marshall Falk. Yeah. Damn, Mo. All right. All right. That was an easier one. I'm trying to get rid of all the easy ones first. The Madden game just came into my face, the 2003, and I was like, yes. (laughs) (laughs) You said the Madden game was like, what? (laughs) The Madden game just popped into my face. (laughs) You're not making it better. (laughs) (laughs) All right, all right. This one, 2013, defensive tackle. Warren Sapp. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Rapist. <laughs> that was too easy. My bad. I forgot we were safe for children. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, All right. This were. is another easy one. 99. Linebacker. Lawrence Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> I figured you might get that. You guessed it earlier <laughs> on 98. And I figured, all right, you know, you know, you, you'll probably get this one. <laughs> that was a gimme. Yeah. I'm surprised that these are getting uh, I haven't hit the hard ones yet, but we're gonna get there. Those are gonna be the last ones. This is 2023 linebacker. Oh. Terrell Suggs. Nope. It's this year. It's this year. Mm hmm. Damn it. What's his name? LeVar Arrington. No. Nope. No. It was <laughs> Ray Lewis. It's a no. it's a well known name. Uh uh fucking uh Patrick Willis. Not cl- 
Who you thinking, Will? It's not Cl- well, Clutto's D line. Um, no, he was D line, yeah. Linebacker uh, 23. Y'all oh, Zach Thomas. The, uh, Zach Thomas. Oh, yeah. Zach, Zach Thomas, nope. yeah. Zach you want the college? The college? Not What's Zach the college? Thomas. Troy, Univ- uh, Troy University. That helps me so much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Demarcus, where? There you go. He saved the anthem. He saved the anthem at the, the Hall of Fame game. That's right. He did. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> he, uh, yeah, I guess he is technically a linebacker. Yep. Mm-hmm. Outside All linebacker. Right. This is is a wide receiver inducted in 2020. The uh, year that we didn't uh, really pass it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. You know why? Because <laughs> Will, Tory Will Hol- was Tor- there. <laughs> Tory, Holt should, yeah. Tory, Tory Holt should also be in. So it, I just, he should yeah. be. He should be. I think yeah, Bruce is probably the most. I think Bruce is low key most underrated receiver of all time. Yeah, uh, that, that's he, why uh, both of them are a little more difficult. You got that shit right away, bro. <laughs> he he's got a thousand catches, fifteen hundred yards, a hundred touchdowns. Like, what are we doing? Yo, Isaac Bruce was amazing. Shit. Hey, his prime both, was like they were both good. His prime was probably like yeah. 95 to 04. He averaged 70 or er, 91 for 1500 yards every year. Like, yeah, that's absurd. <laughs> Jets receivers have done that literally twice. Yeah, right? and that's back when the running game was fucking optimal. Literally. <laughs> Isaac not, Bruce not with that. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Isaac Bruce is fucking dominant. This one should could be a could be a gimme. Twenty twenty one guard. Uh, Alan Fanica. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> damn, that's a, a god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so it could be a gimme because he did play for the Jets from 08 to 09. So I knew figured that's maybe it'd be on the radar. Should have been longer. Yeah, yeah, I wish. I, I was, wish. I, was, I remember being pissed when we let him go. Oh, he was, was stupid. He played like what, what two years? Yeah, yeah. He was on the five team and the rookie oh, eight, and nine. Yeah, yep. Next one, twenty twenty, running back. Ladanian Tomlinson. Nah, he nope. was. Nah, no I think he was a different year. Yeah, I think he was earlier. 20, 20, Barry Sanders. Mm-mm. Edron James. Yes, Edron James. You just got. You just got to go. Back. You just got to. I was gonna say. I was gonna yeah. say Sean Alexander. Yeah. No, you got to. You just got to backtrack. I just am backtracking you. Yeah, like. I know. I I backtrack too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you went back to Barry. Shit. Okay, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Barry retired when I was in like four. I was like four years old. Yeah. Oh, shit. Andrew, that, that was a good one. I thought that might be a little more difficult. You got no, it. he. Uh, I was just thinking, like, yeah, he retired oh nine. I'm looking at it right now. He was sick. Yeah. Then he went, then he went he to the was, Cardinals and was ass. Well, yeah, because yeah. he started in like yeah, he, I want to play from oh six to oh eight. Dude, his first oh, two years. First two years, he had thirty three hundred yards, twenty six touchdowns. Wait, what That's year did he start? Ninety nine. Ninety nine was a rookie. Ninety nine. He had fifteen hundred. Okay. Two thousand. He had seventeen hundred. Yeah, that's yes, right, right. Damn. And then, yeah, he was a beast. He was a beast. He really was. I miss that. I, I miss that run. Uh, that run NFL. I, run I, I first those, NFL. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Miss that shit. Mm-hmm. Next one, two thousand nineteen. D back. Uh, Ed Reed. Nope. Good good guess, though. I think he was Jay 19 Bailey. as well. No, Troy Jay Palmo. Oh, I, I think Bailey was earlier. Uh, Troy Palmo? D'Angelo nope, Hall. Nope. Uh, Did you say Mo? <laughs> no, it's uh, not him. Uh, <laughs> Rod <laughs> Woodson. No. Darren Woodson. No, Darren Woodson's yeah. still not here. He's still not here. Charles Woodson. Woodson. Troy Palomalu. Nope. Nope. Steve Atwater, he, no. He, he, I'll give you the college. I'll John give you the college. University of Michigan. Charles Woodson. Nope. What? Another another University of Michigan. Oh. Uh, what the fuck is his name? 
Desmond. If I tell you the teams, Desmond Howard. Y'all gonna know right away. That's a, Desmond okay. Howard's not in. Uh, right yeah. away, y'all know who it is. Defensive. All right, don't say it. Then. Wait, hold on. Just give me a second. Michigan D back. Michigan D back. Got in twenty nineteen. This is his first year on the ballot. Uh, Earl. <laughs> Thomas, uh, uh, I'm trying to think. I know. I can see in my head. This is pissing me off. We faced them plenty of times. Yeah, Aeneas Williams. No. Oh. No. Ty Law. Ty Fuck. Law. They knew it was Ty Law. Fuck. I said he was on the Jets twice. <laughs> Literally in picks with the Jets. <laughs> Weirdest season of all time. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was going to say. If, five, if I just say he was on the Pats, then he came to, the, came to us. Come on. That, yeah. It, it'd just be too, too 2005. easy. 2005. I remember that year. I went to one of the games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember we, we signed Ty Law, and I thought we were going to win the Super Bowl that year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now now come the harder ones. <laughs> I don't know if y'all get them, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll start off with uh, 2013 wide receiver. Ten fucking years ago. Jerry Rice. Randy Moss. Nope, nope. Uh, Chris Carter. Yeah. Yeah, where Damn. the fuck did you pull that, that out of your ass, yo? <laughs> you missed that. Vaguely remembered him getting, vaguely remembered him getting inducted like in the early 2010s. Yeah, 2010. I remember having Chris, Chris Carter. Carter jersey like that. I found at the thrift store at the time, and so like the memory of him getting into the Hall of Fame it, like slightly resonates with me. <laughs> All right, next okay, one. Okay, thanks for that moment. <laughs> this next one might be <laughs> a little easier, but 2011, tight end. Uh, no, no, nope, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, God, this is annoying. I know exactly what it is in my head. <laughs> uh, 2011, <laughs> tight end. No, 2011. You, you're going to hate it. Oh, Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Shit. Yeah, because yeah. I'm like, because in my head, I'm like, Witten, Tony G, Gronk, all the dudes that are in like the oh, yeah, go down, listen, and then like, and then like, uh, Dick is way too, way too uh, old. So there's somebody in the middle yeah, there for 2011. Uh, and I so just not, lost so, his so podcast not, too. So not uh, Kyle Brady. <laughs> <laughs> oh my not god! Not Warren Sapp. You rapist. You rapist. <laughs> Come on out. Fucking terrible. Just like EDP. Oh, God. All right, my bad, one. my bad. <laughs> 2006. Quarterback. Uh, Joe Montana. Aikman. Aikman. John Elway. Nope, nope. I was going to include Aikman, but I figured that might be too easy, so I included him instead. Steve Young. Nope. Montana. I, I thought Montana. Steve Young too. Montana, nope. no. Uh, Phil Sims. Nope. Uh, what year? Dan Fouts. Dan Fouts. Oh six. Nope. Uh, oh six. Quarterback. Quarterback. Uh, Randall Cunningham. No. Warren uh, Moon. Yes. Oh shit. Yes. <laughs> Warren Moon. <laughs> the worst one out of the entire group. Yeah. <laughs> I had to get it. <laughs> had to do it. He was him. an old man. Yeah, he's playing he was playing in his 40s. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Play for the fucking Oilers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. This this one's gonna be pretty damn difficult, I think. I think. I don't know. I just like the name. All right. So, 2020 <laughs> tackle. <laughs> Matthias Kiwanuka. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Walter Jones. No, nope. that's a good pick. Uh, wait, uh, 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 offensive uh, tackle or defense? Steve Hutchinson. Uh, offensive. Damn, damn. Steve um, Hutchinson. Nope. Uh, 2020 is stupid. Jonathan, I'm... Uh, um, what's his Jonathan name? Ogden. 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 Nope, not Ogden. Orlando damn. Pace. <laughs> oh, damn. This he was at OT. Be... 
It wasn't pace. It wasn't pace. Like I said, this one's difficult. I don't this, know. What, I enjoyed the 2020? name. 2020 tackle. I can give you, as a matter of fact, I'll give you the college. He went to Pitt. Pitt. What the fuck? And if I give oh, you the that. team he played for his entire career, it might be a giveaway. I don't oh, know. so it's one team. One team. Oh, my tie. Tackle went to pit. He played before I was born. Played before you were born. Hmm. Born in '91. Uh, oh. Anthony Munoz. No, nope. that's who I was. That's way before. Orlando, Orlando <laughs> Brown. Nope. <laughs> uh, this might be. A- well, man, I got something here that I don't Brown. think y'all are gonna guess. <laughs> I I had to I had to bring the A game. I'm sorry. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, so say it again. Left. You said tackle or tackle in, inducted specific? in 2020. Played. Okay, so no specific played college tackle. ball pit, and I'll give you all. Oh, the Tony Vaselli. It's got to be Vaselli, right? Not Vaselli. Not Vaselli. Oh, Good guess, that. though. Good. I you know, I'll give you the NFL <laughs> team. He played from 83 to 90. You're going to say Cowboy Larry Bears. Allen. Oh, no. All on the Bears. All on the Bears. Uh, oh, fuck. I'm not. <laughs> this, this is a damn. Oh. It's hard. It's hard, and it's not even the hardest one I got because I got a punter on here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that one might end up being easier. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, maybe. I have, I have no idea. Mm-mm. Nah. I don't um, know. This one. Yeah. Jimbo Covert. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know who the fuck that is. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I, I usually know everybody. Justin I, didn't even know who the fuck that was before he looked him up. <laughs> no. I wouldn't yeah, no, you. no, I had no idea. No idea. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm just doing this to stump y'all. Shit. <laughs> and it hasn't been working yet, but I, I, I got a couple snuffers. So let's go up here to a 2001 inductee. He's a guard. Oh, played for, I, 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 I'll yeah. say played, played for Penn State. And he was an oiler from 82 to 93. I have no clue. This one oiler. just might not even be on anyone's radar. Larry Allen. No, nope. oh, no, he was a cowboy. <laughs> yeah, uh, this one just might not. It, it, it might be another throwaway. I made it too difficult. My bad. I was just looking up Hall of Fame. Mike Munchak. Like, There's gotta be Mike Munchak. Yes, oh, I mean, you know why? You know why? You said Oiler, and I was like, who coached the? They dude, he coached the Titans, didn't he? Coach the yes. Titans. Yeah, that's the only reason. I literally, I wrote a. You know why? I should have known that because. I tweeted the other day. I was like, they should hire Mike Munchak to coach the offensive line. <laughs> so they sh- you know what? Now they should. Uh, they yeah. should. <laughs> yeah, he's coming, oh, good he's coming up in guess. trivia. He's coming up on the timeline. You can't avoid Mike Munchak. No. Good I got like guess. I got like literally one minute left. So rip off whatever last. Uh, yeah. one. Okay, all right. Let's, let's go more. next one. Next one is a wide receiver in 08. This I one, I think you're right. No. <laughs> He played for Syracuse. Marvin Harrison. Drafted by the Redskins. Played Marvin Harrison even 80, to 80 Art, to Monk, Art Monk. Art Monk. I know. Art, Art Monk. Monk. I Art knew. Monk. I knew. He, went to, he, went to, he went to high school with my parents. That's the only reason I knew that. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, before you get going, uh, final score for Jets Patriots. Uh, 16-13 Pats. There you go. All right, we will get a I, I got, I got two more if you want to stick around. Yeah, so I got get, two more. rip them off quick, and then I can, and then I all right, all right, all right, rip them off quick. This one is a 2014 inductee DB, played for Southern University and AMN University, same university. That's just their fucking name. Drafted by the Phoenix Cardinals in '91. <laughs> Play to ninety three, then the ni- uh, ninety four Arizona Ca- Arizona Cardinals to o- two thousand, and the Rams oh one to oh four. Aeneas Williams, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guessed him before. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say either him or Adam Marchuleta, but I don't think that Adam Marchuleta got in. All right, last one, last one. I think we'll win it right now. I was going to say JC Seaborn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a yeah. punter. Punter right here. Uh, What's it, for the, it's got to be the Raiders guy, right? Dane Leckler. It's the Raiders guy. Drafted, uh, oh, inducted shit. in 2014. No, it's, uh, it's the other dude. He's got a cra- He's got a weird name. I feel like he's got an, yeah. Which Wait, is why I picked him. Really. It's not Shane Leckler. No, no, no. He's old. He's 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 more, he's he's I don't know his name, but I know he's from the seventies or eighties. Yeah, he yeah. played. He drafted yeah. by the Raiders in seventy three to eighty one. Then yep. they became the L A Raiders in eighty two oh. to eighty six. Shane his Leckler's name. Cool. His name kind of rhymes. Different vowels. What's, what's the position? Three letter word. Both names. It's a kicker, I believe. A, a kicker. Punter, punter. Is he punter. a punter? punter? Is he Samoan? He, he was no, 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 no. Oh, it's Ray Guy. It's Ray Guy. It's gotta be Ray, Ray guy. guy. You said Ray three. Guy. I was going. I thought it was like something like something Dick or something, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> There's drafted only one the first dick round in the NFL. First and that's to ever be drafted dick. in the first round. Yeah. <laughs> Dicker the kicker. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, though. That, that, was, that was a good. One. I appreciate you guys. Uh, appreciate you guys having me. Obviously, as always. Oh, yeah, yeah, man, it's good to have you. Good to have you. Good to have you. Uh, okay. If you want, to take care, man. Thank you. Know, man. Appreciate it, guys. Obviously, uh, hop on anytime. Yeah, Sounds good. So Be sure to follow Will at Will Pie Eleven on all socials, and we will catch you next time. Peace. Peace. All right. All right. You guys want to do? Uh, you guys want to do the picks? Yeah. Nah, fuck the picks. picks. Or fuck the picks. I mean, the, these picks are more difficult because there's so many motherfuckers. I like, the, motherfuckers I like the the trivia picks better. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that was a good one, man. The Hall of Fame. I was like, oh, I can, <laughs> I can get some. I can get you all some of these. Will knew a lot more than I fucking expected. Mm, oh yeah, no, he's gonna know. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is his job, bro. <laughs> yeah, yo, but he's like, yo, ain't ain't his fucking Williams. I'm like, god damn, nigga, how the fuck you know that man? <laughs> <laughs> Mike Manchek. I was like, damn. Yeah, yo, he got fucking Munchek. You got so many shit. Yeah, yeah. I think he won. <laughs> just yeah, I think so. Four, five. I'm just counting them up. Six, seven. I got like eight, three. nine. <laughs> Yeah, I think I only got like three. <laughs> he had eleven of twenty-one. He got eleven. Oh yeah, he won. He had eleven of them. Mo, you had four. Hacker, you had four as well. Five. Five. Oh shit! I'm fucking lost. Yeah, yeah. Five, and then there's one. It was just the Jimbo covert that no one got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is that? I don't fucking know. I just like the name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to look him up right now. Yeah, I figured your mind know him because he played for the Bears from '83 to '90. That was it. So I figured, all right, may- maybe y'all know him. I don't know who the who fuck he? Jimbo he Covert the, uh, is. He was, he was a lineman? Oh, uh, he was the left mm-hmm. tackle. Yeah, yeah, he was an old team. And you know what's fucked up? And I watched the fuck, and he went to Pitt. Yeah, 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 he went to Pitt. Yeah, that's why I was, like, mad that I didn't know who it was. But uh, my, uh, my football knowledge is kind of, like, cuts off at, like, Pretty much, I, I don't know anyone who played before like nineteen ninety-five. I mean, well, after after this boy. weekend, mine's gonna be from nineteen forty to now. <laughs> 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 hey man, I'm gonna keep including these old ass niggas in my I'm, deep dive. Yeah, right. I know you are. <laughs> and now you're gonna start adding people from like the eighteen hundreds. <laughs> this is this was the Negro League football team. <laughs> Yeah, what one of these motherfuckers played for the Houston Gamblers? The team yeah. never heard of. Never fucking heard of. I've heard of the, the Houston Gamblers. I've heard yeah, I've heard of them too. 
Yeah, Jim, Jim Kelly did. Jim Kelly played him. for them for two yeah. years. Yeah, he, and then uh, Anus Williams first. played for the Phoenix Cardinals for three years. I'm like, yo, who the <laughs> fuck are these teams? Aeneas Will- I actually remember Aeneas Williams when from when he was on the Rams. Oh, is that how you say it? A- 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 Aeneas? I mean, yeah. I've been calling him fucking Anus. <laughs> Anus. <laughs> 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 yeah, like, they just had their kid and then named him Anus. <laughs> Aeneas makes more sense, you know, the whole spell A E N E A S. But to yeah, me, I'm just like, yeah, that's that's his anus. <laughs> that's his anus. Oh man, that was a good one. That was a good one. I'm I'm glad I'm glad the trivia was well enjoyed. You want next, you next do week? A, I got you on I got you on another trivia right here. You and Hecker can battle. Oh shit. Yeah. You right now I'm losing, but I'll I'll battle. No, it's, it's it's uh Heisman winners. Oh, I'm definitely have we done Heisman winners already? If it ain't if it ain't Mark Sanchez, no Sanchez didn't win one. No if it ain't Vince Young or Reggie Bush, I'm done. <laughs> Shit, Heisman yeah, winners. I'm God kidding. damn, man. You know I don't play I don't pay attention to college ball. Shit. Well you I'll play man, the game though. Did, I'll play the game. Did us today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll play the game, man. I am backing down from competition. All right. <laughs> like, 2000, 2002 2002 Heisman. Heisman. Oh shit! Uh, Is Maurice that Bush? What school? Ohio State. No. What, what you want the position or the school? It ain't like it help me. Uh, <laughs> All right, it's a it's a quarterback. It's a quarterback. I'm just trying to think. Like oh. I'm in sixth grade, man. Uh, Who the fuck was playing? Was it? Was it Chris Winky? It was not Chris Winky. Oh, I thought you were about to say it. Was. I was gonna say, you, I you, <laughs> you said you said oh two, right? I said two thousand and two. Two thousand two Heisman winner. Uh Carson Palmer? Yes. Oh, he did win one. Fuck. Yeah. What a bum. <laughs> what a bum! He won the Heisman, <laughs> right? What a bum! He's actually like the best uh, quarterback from USC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all USC quarterbacks are bums. <laughs> He's the yeah. only one that's been good. And Williams will be no different. No, no, no. See, that's why I think he's going to be a bum because he went to USC. You think so? Yep. I think he's gonna be a fucking boss. Uh, I, you know what? I kind of feel like a lot of these quarterbacks are overhyped. Oh yeah, and uh, Penix is the I best. Do, one. I, I like. You know what? I kind of want to argue it. Penix, I do, CJ Stroud, man, do, CJ Stroud. No one is no one is, is throwing good. deep balls with that accuracy that Penix. Uh, he he has better deep ball accuracy than than most NFL quarterbacks right now. I'm not going to say it's I'm not going to say it's going to be Caleb Williams, but Jaden Daniels is definitely up there. I'd say Jaden is uh, is QB two in my book. In your book, he's so Penix is one and Daniels is two. Yeah, then uh, then Drake May, then Caleb Williams. Hmm. And Drake May. Drake May know. over Caleb Williams? Because, ugh, I don't know. Drake May looked kind of ass to me right now. He has he, he looked good last year, but, like, as of recent playing this year, he looked like the games – I watched maybe four games of his, and I watched the whole thing. I watched him play Miami. I watched him play like Virginia. Uh, he looked good against Virginia, I, and I would hope he would. But Miami, shoot, he looked like he was struggling. Did he even, did he even play in that game against Virginia, or, or was it West Virginia? I thought uh, he opted he out was, of the bowl game. No, during the season. Oh, 
because they're ACC also. And yeah, they always play them. Um, Florida State, I think they lost. That that quarterback is really good too, Jordan, uh, Jordan, Jordan Travis. Travis. Yeah, he's yeah, right. but he snapped his fucking leg in half. Yeah. Uh, so he Derek R injury. He ain't coming back. I mean shit. Yeah, it, yeah it's unfortunate. Yeah, if you're getting compared right. to Derek Carr before you're drafted, you're probably screwed. Probably two thousand eight Heisman winner. Um, I should know this one. Um, Vince, Vince Young. No. no. Damn. Maurice it's Claire. a quarterback. It is. <laughs> Who? No. He said Maurice Claret. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, Matt Stafford. No, it was not Matt Yo, Stafford. I feel like I know the Matt fucking Stafford old never won one. the Heisman. Uh, Matt Liner? 2008. No. No, he was in the uh, – was it Sanchez? Mm-mm. Sanchez never won it either. Mm, okay. He was a fucking bum, too. It, it's uh, – he was dope in college and a bum in the NFL. It, he would he, he played for uh, two teams. Terrell Pryor. No. Uh, was it? He's a quarterback. Oh, Terrell Pryor was a rookie in two thousand eight. Well, uh, right. yeah, he was a quarterback. He's a quarterback. All right. Um, yes. uh, he he was like the number one. I think he was the number one. Prospect. Oh, quarterback. Sam Bradford. Yes. Damn. I was thinking Sam. Couldn't remember Bradford. But, uh, <laughs> you were thinking Sam Darnold. Yeah, that, that's all was in my head. Oh, Sam Darnold. But I'll take it. I lost that right, one. This, one, <laughs> this one's for Justin. 2022 Heisman winner. Nigga, that was like last year. You think I know? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Caleb won last year. Yeah. Oh, God. Look at you. Right. you got one right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll take 2016 it. Heisman winner. I'm going random. 2016. It was Deshaun Watson. It was not Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson never won it. Lamar Jackson. Yep. Ah, man, my boy. I was was trying to set Justin up for an easy one. I was going to ask you, uh, what year did he get drafted? That's when I probably might have got it. Yeah, well, Hecker, Hecker didn't need that. Yeah, I I, I need all the help. All the help I can get. <laughs> you said uh, 2007. Yeah, Maurice Claret. Who? Maurice Claret. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 2007. Uh, uh, that is a negative. It was. Oh seven. Uh, I'm gonna say Reggie Bush again, but I know he was earlier. Let's just say he won two national championships. Oh, Timothy Tebow. Oh, really? That bum? Yeah. Got it. Yeah. He, he, won, he won in the greatest college six. football player. No, wait. Yeah. He, that, that bum. God football don't won. fucking matter. Oh, it matters. It it matters to a lot of people. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm, you're playing against scrubs half the time. If you don't Ooh. look good, then you're just ass. 1995. Oh. Uh, Desmond Howard. He was 91. Uh, 95. 95. I'm definitely not getting anywhere close with this shit. Um, Was he drafted in uh, 96? Yes. No. Not like it's going to help me. uh, Keyshawn Johnson. Yeah, he was drafted in 90. No. Not Keyshawn. Uh, Who do you play for in the NFL? That'll give it away. Damn. <laughs> Not to me. I can give you. The, I can give you the college. Peyton Manning. No. 
I don't think Peyton Manning was even in college yet. Oh, he might have been a freshman. No, he probably was. Uh, 95, uh, yeah, what college was it? Ohio State. Maurice Claret. Running back. Uh, uh, oh, running back. Jamal, Jamal Lewis. Jamal Lewis? He went to Texas. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Uh, running back, <laughs> Ohio State, 95. Beast. Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> no, uh, no way in hell you want a Heisman. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Ohio State. Um, Sean Alexander. I don't know. Uh, running back, Ohio State. Edger and James. Marshall Jerome Bettis. Who? Bettis, the bus. No. Marshall Falk. No, it's not Marshall. Uh, <laughs> sure, I'm thinking 90s running backs. Curtis Martin? <laughs> no, nah, he was in the NFL by 95. Yeah, true, true, true. Uh, it is. Shit. Hold on, my headphones. Wait, wait, give, 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 give the NFL teams. Give the NFL teams. What, the NFL team? Yeah, yeah, I want to change. I'm trying to think of running backs that would uh, give Daniel away. Daniel Tomlinson. Tennessee Titans. Uh, oh, George. oh, 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 Chris Johnson. Eddie George. Never got it. <laughs> ah, <laughs> damn. That was Chris Johnson. Shit. No, nah, that's that's too. Uh, that'd be like too, too far. Early. Back. Too early. Yeah. Too early. He's two thousands. You're right. Oh my god! Come on. Ooh. Damn. That was a good one though. Nineteen ninety-eight. 98. And winner. 98, man. Uh, Michael Vick. <laughs> too early. He, he never won. Yeah. Actually, that wouldn't be too he, early. No, he yeah. might have. I think he was playing. He might have. Yeah. At that point. <laughs> yeah. Um, 98 was probably like his freshman year. Yeah. Wait, was it a quarterback? It was or not a quarterback. Nine. Uh, you, wait, did you say 98 or 99? 98. 98, not a quarterback. Uh, 99, next. Oh, uh, let's see. 98. It was <clears throat> LaDainian Tomlinson. It was not. <laughs> Bullshit. But he was, a run- he was a running back. Yeah. Insane. Ricky Williams. Yes. Oh, good guess. Good guess. Okay. Oh, damn. That's a hard one. That's what she said. <laughs> that Eddie George was a good one. Yeah. Shit. I forgot about that. Nigga. Two thousand nine Heisman. I should know this. Uh, Reggie not Bush, a, Vince not Young, a quarterback. not a quarterback. Uh, oh nine. Yeah, not a quarterback. So he's probably a running back. It always is. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sean Green. Ooh, good guess. Did he win the Heisman? No. Uh-uh. He was he oh, was a runner up though. He was a runner up. Oh yeah? Where'd Sean Green go to school? Fuck if I know. <laughs> it? Iowa. There you go. Uh 
Um, so there was another running back who won in 2009. Or wait, no. Two, uh, Sean Green was on the Jets in 2009. He couldn't have won that. Yeah. He was, no, he was the Heisman for 08, I think. He was in the runner-up for Heisman in 08. So 2009. I feel like I should know this. Uh, yeah, you should know this. Justin should know this, too. Maurice Claret. <laughs> He never uh, won. I was thinking we were Reggie Bush. You that's are, a bold. Uh, that's a bold strategy if you yeah, ignore the fact that Reggie four, Bush was in the NFL at that time. Yeah, <laughs> you're four years off. Reggie Bush in the full five. Um. Yeah. Oh nine. Uh, running back. Mike Colbert. Who? Mike Tolbert? Yeah. Toby. Toby. <laughs> that, that See, did, no. did he have a good <laughs> NFL <laughs> career? Was he good in the he, NFL? Yeah. Yes. He had a good NFL career. He had Marshall a good NFL Lynch. career. I want to say no. two teams. For two teams. Two teams, yeah. And he's made the playoffs. Two teams made the playoffs, won the Heisman in 09. Uh, had a good career. He uh, played for over 10 years. Frank Gore. No, he went to Miami. Uh, where did this one go? Ohio State? Wait, what school did he go to? Alabama. Oh. Oh, 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 I know this. I fucking know this. No, 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 I don't, I don't, because he was ass. Uh, Mark Ingram. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. It was Mark Ingram. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah. I want to say he had a good career. He yeah, had a career. He had a good career. Oh no, I thought he, he. I didn't think he was great in the NFL. Saints and the Ravens. He was good. He he he, he was productive, but he wasn't what people would expect him to be. All right. Well, Fuck. I had that consider, one too. What do you Shit. consider good? Good is like LT, Sean Alexander, Curtis <laughs> Martin. No, that that's like phenomenal Hall of Fame for you. <laughs> All right, that's fair. That's fair. All right, twenty fourteen. I was thinking elite. Twenty fourteen Heisman. Uh, Jameis Winston. 20- no. Oh, Marcus Mariota. Yes. All right. Let's go back. Let's go back. Where the fuck is Mariota right now? He's the Eagles backup. Oh, God. 1985. 1985. Barry? Dick Butkiss. Wrong and wrong. <laughs> 1985. Uh, John, this is my it. it okay, uh, this might give it away. Actually, I'll wait. Um, it's not that a position. Not a quarterback. No. 85. When he get what? What year was he drafted? 87. 87. He, um, he played uh, – I don't know which one I should go with first. Not a quarterback. He was offense. He has a 30 for 30. He yeah, has a 30 for 30. LeBron James. No, I'm joking around. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron James. <laughs> uh, Heisman has a 30 for 30. Uh, is he a convict? No. <laughs> no it, what a good why, question. Why, why okay. does he have a 30 for 30 then? He has a 30 for 30 because he could have been the greatest athlete of all time. Uh, oh, so I was close. LeBron, shit. Wait. So it's, so wait, is it Deion Sanders? It, it was cut short due to injury. No, it's not Deion. Cut short uh, dude. Greg Oden? No, nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. 
They're talking oh, about Mecca Okafor. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mecca Okafor? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, shit. 85 injuries, cut Rock. career short. He's not running old. back. He's a running back. Uh, Thurman Thomas. Auburn. Uh, it's probably not Cam gonna Newton's help. dad. All right, this this should give it away. All right, he played baseball and football. Oh, Ricky Waters. Oh. No. Wait. Uh, Herschel Walker. No. <laughs> <laughs> A running back that played football and baseball. That's not Herschel Walker or Ricky Waters. There's uh, oh my god, I can't, can't fucking think of it. it. Just knows it. All right, you want the Yo, teams you played for? Can't fucking think of it. Uh, Yo, tell us Kansas, Kansas City Royals and the Oakland Raiders or the Los Angeles Raiders at the time. Oh, uh, uh, Marcus Allen. No. Fucking Ooh, best one fuck yeah. Oh fuck is his name. <laughs> he played play for the Royals this, and the Raiders. He might be my favorite athlete of all time. Yo, Bo I Jackson. Yes. Yo, thank you, thank you. Holy fuck. I'm like, yo, I know his fucking name. I know who the <laughs> fuck this is. Oh my god. And we'll end it with that one. Actually, no, I want someone to win. Uh Fucking can't remember Bo. 1999. Ooh, that's a good one. Michael Vick. No. <laughs> uh, 99. Vick was electric in college in 99, though. Like He was. Vick was a cheat code, man. No one knew what a running quarterback was. Um, LT, Ladanian Thomason. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, 99. We're running back. Artist? No. Jamal Jamal Lewis. All right. He went to Wisconsin. Yeah, that won't help. Wisconsin running back 1999. Number number 33. Uh yeah, 33 in the NFL too. He was he was known as Thunder on this specific team. Oh, Derek Ward. No. Brandon Jacobs. Think before. Uh, Ron See, Dane. Yes. Who, Ron Dane? It was Ron Dane. <laughs> Damn. And Tiki Barber was lightning. That's right. Yeah, that's how I thought Tiki. Shit. <laughs> yeah, because I remember when, when the Giants had uh, Brandon Jacobs, Ahmad Bradshaw, and Derek Ward, they were earth, wind, and fire. Fire, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Back when the run game was the game, shit. I miss when the run game was the game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we need to bring back exciting. running the football more. 2010 is when football died. 2010 <laughs> is when football peaked and then it died after. Yeah, yeah. That's when it peaked. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. quarterbacks were like, yo, man, why the fuck are you running the ball? I can get us down the field the entire fucking way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One Literally. yeah. You dumb motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I could throw this ball. Just get him in into the – just scheme it. That's all you got to do, scheme – He's going to get the ball. He's going to get more yards than just, you know, 10 to 15 for a good rush. <laughs> so those days are great, man. I, I, I miss watching the bus. I enjoyed watching Curtis, the bus. I was just watching Ray Alexander. Lewis. Yo, watch Ray Lewis. Watch that fucking – watch the quarterback. And, yo, man, Ray Lewis knew exactly what's going to go on anytime the offense thought they – they knew what was going on. Ray Lewis was an intelligent NFL player. Also, should be a convicted killer. He should be a convicted killer, too, but hey. I don't care. 
<laughs> I don't care. What he did for football was amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who, whoever it was, they probably deserved to die. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can assure you he made the right decision. <laughs> Could you imagine the NFL without Ray Lewis? Come on. <laughs> I can assure you he made the right decision. You are not guilty. <laughs> He's probably like, I saw when you put them steelers up there. Yeah. <laughs> God damn! The judge is like a big time heavy Ravens fan. <laughs> yeah. Yo, then, man, if under, we, under, if we under, haven't under, gotten canceled, I'm a sad nigga multiple yeah, times. Yeah, Ravens jersey on. He's like, you are. Yo, I'm gonna say some real disrespectful shit. Some real oh, disrespectful yeah. shit. Right, I don't right. know. Hecker, Hecker, end the podcast first. End the podcast. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. All right. Thank you for listening. We got some uh, disrespectful off-air things to talk about. Uh, before we go, um, I guess everyone, uh, we don't have to do picks, but uh, I guess just we, give them the yeah. final scores for Jets. Of the and, Jet. uh, yeah, we can do the Jets picks. And I guess uh, also just shits and giggles if you guys want to pick the national championship game. Uh yeah, we can do yeah, that too. Uh, I'll pick it Washington to win the national championship over Michigan, and uh, the Jets will. The Jets are going to beat the Patriots, uh, <laughs> seventeen to ten. Yeah, seventeen to know. ten. Pick, what what think, we'll say, sixteen thirteen Pats. Yeah. You said sixteen thirteen Pats. No, no, that's what Will, that's what Will Parkinson said. Oh, oh. yeah. I uh, got uh, the Pats losing. So it's going to be a shit game, low scoring, shit touchdown at the end. That put us at 21 9. Oh, you're calculating all this like on the fly. That's amazing. Yep, yep, all on the fly, all on the fly. It's gonna be fourteen nine for most of the game. We'll get a shit touchdown in the fourth. Twenty one nine. Twenty one to nine. You just win twenty one to nine. Yep. All right. Uh. I think this is going to end up in a tie. Oh. This is going to be uh, 16 to 16. And someone's going to miss a field goal in double overtime. There isn't even going to be double <laughs> overtime because it's a regular season game. Yeah. So it would just be a regular I overtime. Regular overtime. <laughs> <laughs> Mo's giving them more time, but he's like, yeah, no, no, it won't make a difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll just end after the first 10 minute overtime. <laughs> it should be double overtime. <laughs> they, they should they be, man. So, I, sorry for both fucking teams. Uh, yeah. I think Michigan is going to win easy. Uh, yeah, not that easy. It's going to look easy in the first, but I feel like the second half, Washington will come back, but Michigan will end up having their number by then. Uh, I don't know. Do you want to score? If you want not to give a score. If you have well, to. if you want to give a score, yeah, but come on. It's college ball. So no, I'm know picking what's going to happen. I'm picking Michigan over Washington. I thought Washington. I thought the finals was going to be Washington Bama, so I'm taking Washington. It should have been Washington Bama. Bama's stupid. They are. They're so dumb. Texas sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Texas was so nice. Yo, you, you know what's funny though? The one guy who was like the biggest Texas fan, he's been out for the past two days. And he said, Oh, I caught a bug. 
I'm like, no, yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting, and he coming back tomorrow, allegedly. So yeah, I wish I had bought like a Washington no so I could talk some shit. Yeah, yeah, let's go Washington, man. I, I would love to see Washington win it all. Yeah, I actually go. had money on Washington and Bama winning because my dumb ass is like, yo, man, Monday Night Football doesn't exist anymore. So no. I was like, all right, yeah, fuck it. Let me just bet on some college ball. Could have won some money. Nah, Bama had to lose. I just bet the money lines because I don't, I don't follow that shit. And also, you can't bet. You can't bet on players, anyways. And it wouldn't have mattered if you bet the spread. The uh, Alabama didn't cover either. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Bam, yo, man, Bama sh- didn't they have the. They had the fucking lead. Yeah, yeah, they had the lead, and, and then with with, uh, with minutes left in fucking the fourth quarter, they go to OT and lose it. Bomb ass niggas. Yeah, <laughs> I can only I'd imagine. Be tight. I can only imagine what more disrespectful shit you're about to tell us now when we end the podcast. <laughs> so uh, yeah, yeah we we all got our we all got our scores and predictions in. <clears throat> uh, let's go Jets and let's go Huskies. We will see you next week. Peace. Time for disrespectful stuff with Justin. Please subscribe to our Patreon for more.